Welcome back to Better Living. Jeremy Baumhauer is here, and we are talking about the Tree City Film Festival. We talked about what's going to happen on Friday night, but let's move on to the rest of the weekend. Well, that's the exciting part right now that we can talk about. So if you wanted to buy tickets to see Friday night or any of these, you can go to sylvaniaarts.org. But Saturday night is our showcase, and Saturday night is a showcase of local filmmakers that we put a challenge out there. So what it is, it's filmmakers are given 50 hours. Okay. We have a kickoff on uh, March 17th, and we give them at 6 o'clock 50 hours to complete a movie. Hand it in, edit it, give us, to it, give us it right back. So it's not like somebody's like keeping a log of their hours. It's that weekend. Right there. Okay. So we send them off on Friday. They have no idea what genre it is. Um, we're, we're told them, we, we'll tell them a location, a prop, a name, a line to use, and a shot that they have to get in there. And if they do all that, turn it back in in 50 hours, um, it's actually very amazing to see the results. Yeah. So then what we do is on the Saturday, on the 18th, Saturday, April 18th, um, we have our 50 hour challenge so we will show all those movies um you know if they're acceptable movies we have yes. not i don't believe edited a movie yet um back to back in a way to where you're just blown away like the first year i, I had no expectation I, I think in my mind i, I just completely underplayed it like I, I love quality films and i went um having very low expectation and i just sat there and it's really inspiring to see what these guys are doing. The craft and the short movies are, you know, no longer than eight minutes in length. But when it was done, I grabbed, I'm on this arts commission board mm -hmm. with Sylvania, and I, I'm like, why are we not taking this to, like, TV? Like, this should be on TV. We could do this, like, we're partnering now with right. 24 with the shorties. So that's how vested I was after I saw the product. This is going to be the third one that I get to witness and be a part of and it's really, really a fun opportunity. So you don't have to be a filmmaker. Like if you are a corporation or like a, a mom and pop business and you want to do a group, like a team building exercise, mm -hmm. how much fun is that to build a movie? That would be really cool. Agencies, TV stations, mm -hmm. anybody that can do it, 50 hours. Um, the fee is uh, $45 or $35 if you're a student. That's it, but it's a lot of fun. I, I imagine for 50 hours it's some pressure. But it's fun pressure. I mean, it's it's really, really, really entertaining, and it's exciting to see everybody come out. And then, you know, when it comes to that Saturday night, it's a celebration. I mean, it's a great atmosphere. It's people enjoying local film and art that's created, and it's fun. It's really, really a great night where I would never expect that right. it would be. And it's like eight bucks or something, a ticket to see it. Totally worth it. So yeah, you give, we give out awards. There's like, um, we have celebrity judges um, that will break down the films and send back notes. And then at, on Saturday night, a part of that film festival, we show all those movies back to back. And I think we'll have probably two screenings, like one during the day and one mm -hmm. at night. But you know, a couple hundred people get to see your film. And I love it. I, I just think that, you know, and you can go like on the website and check out past ones. You'll be blown away that that's happening I, here. I am gonna look at that. I have to make myself a check note. out the one Maddie M A D D I E okay. installed. Those are ones from last year. Two examples of ones that you will shows you how great the writing and directing and um, we have some really really incredibly talented people here. What are they shooting these on? Oh, like their SLR cameras. They have okay. real like there's real movie cameras that they bring in to do it. Um, for the shorties, like for my kids that we have, um, I always, they can kind of shoot it on an iPhone, mm -hmm. you know? Um, a, a Modern Family episode that's coming up is I'm so excited about that, completely yeah. Completely shot or 98% shot on an iPad or an iPhone. So I meant the quality of technology is there and readily available. You no longer need that big, like mm -hmm. that uh, the tape deck, cassette recorder. Um, so they, they already know, I mean, most of the times these people are creative, they're in the uh, advertising agency, right. marketing side of things, but I want to reach out there to those that haven't thought about it, haven't ponied up, to, you know, to take the weekend. It's a great time to bond with people and we'll help if you need actors or something like that. We'll, we'll kind of try to help provide you those if those are what you want to do. But the range of talent that you see, we have this guy, he's brought, he's a local Sylvania resident and he created this character and. Uh, he's not the most polished of filmmakers, but he, his films are just cult favorites. And he has this character called Captain Conover, and he tries to save the trees. It's so absurd, but it's it's, it's hard good. it's hard to look away from the the TV or you know from this big. I mean, these are not TVs that we're showing it on. We import a huge screen, screen. 
and show it. So it's like, I mean, it is a real movie. How many people do you typically get? Like, how many entries were there last year? We had 20 teams. Wow. 20 teams. I'm surprised there's that many people that have that interest in our area. I mean, we have high school support, um, uh, different, like from the performing arts to Whitmer's high school program was amazing. Um, the different agencies, uh, like the advertising agency stuff, right. like Root, um, just to name a couple, will put out a couple of teams, and it's a, and that night itself is really worth it. So there's 125 to 150 people that are there cheering for your film. Mm -hmm. um, the night show with all the filmmakers where we do the awards is a true celebration. Like it's a great environment. It's you laugh out loud. You, I mean, it just affects you, and I think it's one of our finest nights, weekends in Northwest Ohio. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be able to highlight it. That it, it should be a celebration because it does take a lot of talent to do that. And the fact that we have that many people here is remarkable. Again, let's tell people for Friday night where they can get their tickets. For any information okay. about anything, you can go to sylvaniaarts.org. And it's the Tree City Film Festival, and there's three nights. The first night is the Oscars, the second is the 50 Hour, and the third night is the Shorties. That's right, and we'll talk more about the Shorties next time you're with us. Make sure that you go to sylvaniaarts.org and get your tickets. It's going to be a lot of fun. We'll be right back on Better Living.